गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन माई YouTube चैनल अगेन सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक वेट एंड एक्वायरोबिक्स विच इज कम्स अंडर यूनिट टू इन योर एरोबिक्स ट्रेनिंग कोर्स फॉर सेमेस्टर थ्री सो फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वेट एरोबिक्स सो वेट एरोबिक्स इज एन एरोबिक एक्सरसाइज विच इज परफॉर्म विद लाइट वेट और यू कैन से वेट एरोबिक्स इज ए सेट ऑफ एरोबिक एक्सरसाइज परफॉर्म विद लाइट वेट एज ए रेसिस्टेंस बॉडी वर्कआउट फॉर योर अपर एक्सट्रीमिटीज अपर एक्सट्रीमिटीज मीन्स योर योर हैंड योर शोल्डर योर बैक योर कोर मसल्स योर बाइसेप्स योर ट्राइसेप्स दीज आर द अपर एक्सट्रीमिटीज ऑप्शन द वेट कैन बी वन टू फाइव के जी एज पर योर नीड्स यू कैन यूज द डबल ऑफ वन के जी टू के जी टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी थ्री के जी और यू कैन यूज द एंकल वेट ऑन योर हैंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सॉरी एंकल वेट इन योर एंकल एंड यू कैन यूज रिस्ट वेट ऑन योर हैंड बट अकॉर्डिंग टू अमेरिकन काउंसिल ऑफ एक्सरसाइज दे रिकमेंडेड फॉर द बिगनर्स द वेट शुड नॉट बी ग्रेटर दैन थ्री पाउंड विच मीन्स वन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स फॉर द ओनली बिगनर्स एडिंग एक्स्ट्रा वेट इन फॉर्म ऑफ हैंड और रिस्ट वेट इंक्रीज द टोटल मास दैट मस्ट बी मूव सो इट्स शीम लॉजिकल दैट यूजिंग एक्स्ट्रा वेट बुड बेनिफिशियल इन बूस्टिंग द फिजोलॉजिकल डिमांड्स ऑफ एन एक्टिविटी सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म वेट एरोबिक्स यू जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो सर्टेन गाइडलाइंस फॉर द वेट एक्सरसाइज बिकॉज दीज गाइडलाइंस विल हैव टू प्रिवेंश फ्रॉम द इंजरीज सो इन वेट एरोबिक्स वी आर होल्डिंग वेट्स सो इट्स बिट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड डिफिकल्ट दे आर सम प्रिकॉशन दैट शुड भी फॉलो टू अवर इंजरीज फर्स्ट यू नीड टू होल्ड योर वेट वेरी टाइटली विद अ गुड ग्रीप इफ यू आर होल्डिंग द डम्बल्स फ्रॉम योर हैंड द वेट शुड भी वेरी गुड सॉरी द ग्रीप शुड भी वेरी गुड दैन यू डोंट मिस द प्रॉपर वार्म अप बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म कार्डियो एसप्लेन एस वेट एरोबिक्स चूज वेट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ईज मेक श्योर यू हैव इन अवर स्पेस अराउंड यू वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द वेट एरोबिक्स If you are doing it for the first time, make sure you are doing under supervision of the instructor. While performing the weight aerobics, your back should be straight. Wear perfect fitting, uh, fitting clothes or uniform. Always cool down after performing the exercise because cool down is essential as as well as like warm up. Small children should avoid aerobics with the weight. Always stretch. Make sure you keep yourself hydrated during the entire workout. One should keep this thing in mind to avoid injuries and better result. so if you are performing uh, weight aerobics you will find some benefits in your body so the first benefit is workout with resistance mean workout with the weight will help to burn fat very quickly it will also ha- help to tone the body good for cardiovascular system weight aerobics also provide strengthen of your muscles because you are using the weight with your hand and your muscles it is also provide uh, it also help to prevention from osteoporosis as well as arthritis Weight aerobics also help to reduce your chronic pain in your body. Weight aerobics also help to reduce fatigue. Weight aerobics also help to improve your metabolic system and weight aerobics also help to provide strength to your muscles, joints and tendons. So the next question is arise how much weight I need to carry while performing the weight aerobics workout. So as I told you according to American Council of uh, Exercise the weight greater than 3 pounds are not generally recommended because they may put undue stress on your arm and shoulder muscles and the wrist and elbow joints in addition wrist weight are prefer over hand weight because they don't have to grip which can use which can cause an exaggerated blood pressure response in some people it is important to keep in mind that according to some research roughly 2 or 3rd of the increase in oxygen uptake and caloric expenditure attributed to exercising with hand held weight is simply the result of more active engagement of upper extremities in other words when individual hold weight while performing cardio exercise they tend to swing their arms to greater degree the, thus individual can simply and safely reverse the cardio workout by consciously swinging their arms more now there is there any other option apart from the dumbbells or wrist weight yes other weights related to option for increasing the intensity of cardio workout include ankle and weight vest the beneficial effect of ankle and weights is lower than that of the either hand or wrist weights ankle weights ranging from 1 to 3 pounds which means 450 to 1315 g can increase heart rate by average of 3 to 5 beats per minute and oxygen uptake by 5 to 10% over unfitted condition a potential drawback to use of ankle weight is that they may alter a person walking or running mechanics potentially leading to injury as a consequence ankle weights are not generally recommended for use during aerobic exercise 
एक्सरसाइज एक्टिविटीज नाउ मूविंग टू वर्ड द वाटर एरोबिक्स स्टार्ट विद इंट्रोडक्शन एज द नेम इम्प्लाइज दिस इज एरोबिक्स दैट आर कंडक्टेड इन द वाटर विद द एक्सरसाइज विच इज कंडक्टेड इन द वाटर कॉल्ड वाटर एरोबिक्स is also called aqua aerobics aqua aerobics or water aerobic is a form of aerobics activity involving long dynamic exercise performed inside the water with moderate intensity these movements require the delivery of oxygen to various muscles of the body especially the primary muscles used during the exercise water aerobics is is a excellent and gentle method for conditioning the entire body and is no traumatizing to the residual limb many doctors and therapists therapist recommended water aerobics for patients who are unable to unwilling to participate in other forms of exercise or those who have problem for balance this water aerobics is good for them water aerobics require use for the arms to create resistance in the water so in general if i give you some explanation about aqua aerobics a small introduction aqua aerobics also referred to as water aerobics one of the most effective and safe ways to get yourself into shape basically these are the exercise done in a swimming pool usually an instructor is stand on the deck on the pool which means outside the pool demonstrating various arms legs and core exercise which is a class of exercisers or group of exercisers standing in chest deep water follow each and every exercise these exercise are usually done to rhythmic music uh, weight can also be included in the workout you can hold the dumbbell but the dumbbell is quite different from the floor or weight aerobics here the dumbbells are made of with the form which you are using in the aqua aerobics each workout session run for about 40 to 45 to 60 minutes it means at least 1 hours it begin with the warm up session which incorporates slow cardio and stretching exercise to get the muscles ready for the increased activity to follow and end with a cool down where the limbs and other parts of the body are stretch and relax according to estimation about 500 to 700 kilo calorie are burned in a whole session which means if you are performing one hour aerobics exercise in aqua aerobics that will help to burn your 500 to 700 kilo calorie in a one session so uh, there are small uh, similarity between land and water exercise the principle of water based training are similar to land based training however the techniques are different water based exercise is predominantly for lower body exercise and the weight aerobics is predominantly for the upper extremity exercise so the low impact resistance based environment the body is uplifted in water by process called buoyancy and since the viscosity of thickness of the water is greater than air movement of the body through the water provides an increased level of resistance over the land based exercise the buoyancy factor provides support for the body thereby reducing the likelihood of muscles bone and joint injuries buoyancy is defined as the ability of water to support body weight so uh, while performing the aqua aerobics there are certain caution you need to be just uh, remember so special population should acquire a medical clearance before beginning any exercise program including water based exercise this principle is also follow for the weight, uh, weight aerobics water based exercise programs should be avoided by individual who have the following problems the first one is compromised respiratory functions severe hypertension bladder or vaginal infection any infection and disease chlorination allergies open and unhealed wound if you have you are not supposed to perform aqua aerobics because these are the uh, precaution kind of thing which will help to avoid injuries or further chronic illness in addition anyone who is apprehensive about being in water has a fear of drowning should be excluded from the water based exercise program the onset of panic can be quite fast and could cause injury it is important that those individual who cannot swim be provided with adequate flotation device adequate flotation device means some uh, device which can use while performing the aqua aerobics like uh, mat hota hai aur caution wale uh, grip wale aapke paas uh, noodles hote hain which have, unki help se aap float karke exercise kar sakte hain so there are certain training method in aqua aerobics which is quietly separate from the floor and uh, aqua uh, sorry weight aerobics or step aerobics so water based exercise classes may place a greater physical demand on the instructor your level of energy expenditure in water based environment will certainly depend on how long you are actually instructing while in the water chlorinated water water cleanliness sunlight will all provide an additional strain on the instructor over land based indoor exercise classes 
the chlorinated atmosphere can produce an additional strain on the respiratory system and vocal cords of the instructor jo bolte hai wo so there are two training method in aqua aerobics uh, used in teaching aqua exercise classes with advantage and disadvantage of both while some instructor while preferring particular style it is recommended that a combination of both style be used to facilitate the demonstration of the exercise as well as reduce the effective water immersion time for the instructor so these are the two uh, teaching method or teaching style in aqua aerobics the first one is deck teaching and second one is water teaching deck teaching means the trainer performing or demonstrating the exercise outside from the pool on the deck certain height was there and the second method is water teaching means the trainer performing the exercise or demonstrating the exercise from inside the water itself so the first we will uh, start start with the style provide the best instructional view for the participants with the least amount of effort for the instructor in deck teaching in water teaching the style provide the instructor with the same exercise medium as the participant allowing easier simulation of exercise moves in deck teaching participant will be watching the instructor at a higher level but it is important to correct instances of neck hypertension and to avoid excess pressure on the cervical wrist here it makes it difficult for the instructor to demonstrate the move since the participant cannot see the instructor body movement because his whole body also inside the water the instructor position should not be limited to facing the class but be optimizing to facilitate proper instruction because he was standing just above height and all are uh, easily uh, visible and aaram se unko correct bhi kar sakte hain again in the water aerobics this may be more fun for the instructor however this not be instructor exercise time because they have to be focus on the uh, uh, remaining students those who are just uh, here performing the aerobics in deck instructor should be careful to avoid slipping or slippery decks which can be minimizing by wearing water shoes which will help to provide you grip or friction but in water aerobics sorry uh, in the water teaching this may be an effective style with a seasonal participant as well as a for short periods of demonstrate water specific techniques so the temperature uh, while performing the aqua aerobics you need to be just set the temperature so according to the craig and dowack in 1968 they found that most people at rest will begin its to shiver in water temperature about 75 to 83 fahrenheit or 24 to 828 degrees celsius while this temperature would be considered comfortable for swimming so it is important to begin warm up exercise right way to avoid this comfort means while entering the water please do not wait for the uh, main part you just start the exercise for the warming up move the body here and there right right side and left side so the body can produce the heat aur dheere dheere wo pani ke sath adopted hone lag jaye if you need to explain procedure to the class have them engage in some simple arm and leg movements to maintain body heat that will not to distract them from your instruction it is therefore recommended that class be conducted in water temperature kitna 75 to 83 fahrenheit or 24 to 28 degrees celsius kitna temperature hona chahiye while performing the aqua aerobics now uh, talking about the depth there are total three depth in the aqua aerobics the first one is waist deep you are performing the exercise till your waist the second verse is uh, your chest to shoulder depth the exercise performing with the shoulder level the water level is in your shoulder level depth and the third one is deep water deep means the complete water the deep water classes should be only reserved for the accomplished swimmers wo ek belt apne flotation belt apne back par bandh lete hain aur wo float karte hain pani ke andar wahan pe cycling jogging wo aaram se kar sakte hain wo unke liye jo perfect swimmers ho aur jinko swimming aati ho water depth at the chest to shoulder level allows the body to be mostly supported by buoyancy and provide water resistance for the body to work against shallower water level provide a uh, mostly body weight to work eliminating the added factor of uh, water resistance chest to shoulder depth provide support to 80 to 90% of body weight and allows full suspension for various exercise kuch exercise ho uh, pura deep ho jate hain now uh, moving towards the safety in the aqua aerobics so uh, you need to just focus about the depth of the water because बिफोर एंटरिंग द वॉटर यू शुड नो कितना गहरा है ताकि आपको इंजरी ना हो द सेकेंड सेफ्टी यू शुड नॉट अलाउ योर स्टूडेंट्स टू डाइव इन साइड द पूल वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द एक्वा एरोबिक्स 
द थर्ड सेफ्टी इज यू नीड टू यू हैव टू वेयर वाटर शूज वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द एक्वाबिक्स इन साइड द वाटर बिकॉज दीज शूज प्रोवाइड यू द फ्रिक्शन एंड ग्रिप वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द एक्वाबिक्स एक्सरसाइज द फोर्थ वन इफ यू आर परफॉर्मिंग द डीप वाटर एरोबिक्स यू हैव टू बी कैरी द गॉगल्स बिकॉज दे विल टू प्रोटेक्ट यू आइज फ्रॉम द केमिकल और बैक्टीरिया प्रजेंट इन द पूल यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज योर ईयर प्लग्स यू कैन यूज योर स्विम कैप्स द नेक्स्ट वन इज द इंस्ट्रक्टर शुड बी सी पी आर सर्टिफाइड नॉट लाइफ गार्ड बिकॉज इन एडिशन द इंस्ट्रक्टर शुड बी पूल गार्ड सर्टिफाइड बिकॉज दे आर परफॉर्मिंग द एक्सरसाइज इन साइड द पूल इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू बी लाइफ गार्ड लाइफ गार्ड सर्टिफिकेशन इज जनरली फॉर ओपन वाटर एनवायरमेंट नॉट फॉर द पूल एनवायरमेंट सो आफ्टर सेफ्टी एंड अदर थिंग्स यू नीड टू बी नो अबाउट सर्टेन इक्विपमेंट फॉर द एक्वाबिक्स द फर्स्ट इज वाटर बार्बल्स लाइक डम्बल्स यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दीज डम्बल्स आर मेड ऑफ द फॉर्म्स यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज द एक्वा स्टेप्स विच इज मेड ओनली फॉर द एक्वाबिक्स द थर्ड वन इज फ्लोटिंग बेल्ट यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर्स यू कैन वेयर द बेल्ट इन साइड योर बेली एंड जस्ट साइकिलिंग इन साइड द वाटर योर बॉडी इज बॉइंसी रहेगा उसके अंदर पानी के अंदर द नेक्स्ट वन इज वाटर नोडल्स वाटर नूडल्स सॉरी आर लॉन्ग सिलेंड्रियल और फॉर्म दैट कैन प्रोवाइड इंक्रीज बॉइंसी एंड इंक्रीज असिस्टेंस then uh, hand webs webs gloves used to increase water resistance while performing the aquaerobics then kick boards used to provide extra buoyancy allowing you to increase your range of motion and work more muscles now uh, after all this uh, points you just think about how you can prepare your class for the aquaerobics mm-hmm. so class preparation aero aquaerobics is primary focus for water based exercise is the legs which contain the largest muscle mass so you can moves include your kicks you can include your leg extension you can include your knee lifts you can include your squats you can also include your marching and jogging inside the water the first few classes in any workout generally focus on the moves proper form and breathing techniques as the participant become more familiar with the class and instructor they will be able to increase the intensity of the workout start move slowly and gradually pick up the speed always land on the ball of the foot and the roll to the heel with the entire foot of the floor the first uh, warm up at least 10 to 15 minutes you need to just make your program at least for the 1 hour and the 1 hour should be divided into three category the first part is for the warm up which is 10 to 15 minutes and the heart rate for the approximately 128 beats per minute during your warm up exercise the main part should be 25 to 30 minutes where you are going to perform uh, squats lunges or cycling jumping these are the exercise you can perform in the main part here the heart beat should be 132 beats per minute plus 5 a uh, beats per minute uh, plus minus the last part of at least 55 minute and involve muscle stretching and cool down to slow rhythm music with heart rate maintained at approximately 120 beats per minute remember there is some connection between your cooling down and your music similarly the connection between your pace and the pace of your music उसी की तरह कूलिंग डाउन में भी म्यूजिक आप स्लो रखेंगे तभी आप कूल डाउन अच्छे से कर पाएंगे क्योंकि वहां पर आपने मसल के साथ-साथ अपने हार्ट बीट को और माइंड को भी रिलैक्स करना है it will not be easy to maintain coordination with the music so limit each exercise routine to about 25 repetitions there are certain components of exercise in your aerobics like basic stance while performing the aerobic exercise just kaise khada hona pani ke andar then your bob your boxer bent leg jump cross country frog jump heel lift hops then jumping jack in front jumping jack side lunges rocking horse scissor jump tug jumps water jogging and sculling these are the components of your aerobic exercise once you have established the correct stance a variety of arms and leg movement will be introduced a complete water aerobics workout is designed to work all of the major muscle group combine a triceps push biceps curl shoulder shrug and other standard arm movements with any of the moves have to uh, any move any of the moves above to extend the variety of the workout If you familiar with the other activities you can incorporate those move into your classes such as the jump using jumping ropes and dance cardio kickboxing moves can also be incorporated into a water based ex fitness class it is will be especially important to maintain proper cardio kickboxing form to ensure balance the moves above are only a sample of the moves available use your imagination to create stationary as well as traveling moves or static or dynamic moves due to buoyancy participant may find themselves balancing on their toes cue them to press their heels to the floor of the pools to avoid calf cramps 
so if you are performing similar like a weight aerobics if you are performing the aqua aerobics there are certain benefits of aqua aerobics the main advantage of exercise in water is that it offers resistance in all direction compared to the length exercise this form of exercise is particularly beneficial to anyone at risk from uh, bodily stress including the elderly overweight or those recovering from the soft tissue injury it is also give you low impacts on joints great for those with balancing issue decrease muscle soreness improve muscular endurance keep body cool during exercise burn enormous amount of calories improve flexibility and the aqua aerobics is fun and enjoyable for everyone either for the instructor or for the students so that's all for the day so this is the topic and these are the references if you have any doubt just uh, ask in the uh, comment box all the best